Hello, my name is Emma Hernandez. I'm the Program Manager for the Latino Collection and Resource Center at San Antonio Public Library. While the San Antonio Public Library is still closed to the public, we have a ton of resources available online and books available for checkout through No Contact Pickup. Today I'm going to be showing you a virtual program, something that we're offering actively through our website, mysapple.org. We're going to be learning how to make a nitro using household materials. To get started with this activity, there are a few materials you will definitely need. At first, you will need to find a thin piece of cardboard around the house. You can use a cereal box or a frozen food box like the one I'm going to be using today. You will of course need an image of a person or a figure that you would like to commemorate in your nitro. You will source some decorative paper. This is a piece of scrap paper I found. Just any bright, bold colors and patterns that you uh, would like to include. A pair of scissors, tape, a toilet paper roll, aluminum foil, and apart from that, any markers, uh, crayons, colored pencils, and of course a ruler. And so to get started, what we're going to do is get our toilet paper roll and with our scissors, we're going to cut across the roll, opening it up, and then on the exact opposite side, I'm going to cut again so that I have two equal parts to my toilet paper roll. I can put one of these aside, or if you're doing this with a buddy, they can use it for their own neutral. Now, with this side of the toilet paper roll, this is actually going to be our shadow box for our neutral. And so what we're going to do is get the image of the figure that we're commemorating, and we're going to adhere it inside of our toilet paper roll as this will be functioning as our shadow box. You can do this with tape or glue. I'll be using tape today, just creating these little rolls with the adhesive on the outside, placing it behind my image, and placing it in our toilet paper roll, making sure it's adhering. I'll add another piece of tape to make sure it's really stuck on there. If you have a slightly larger image, what you can do is just cut it down to about two by three inches just making sure that it fits within the area of your toilet paper roll as we are going. Ah, uh, we're here. Okay. Thanks. And so once you have the image itself adhered to the inside of your toilet paper roll, we can move on to our next step. Uh, if you need to add anything other than the image, now would be the time to do it because once the front face is on top of this uh, shadow box, it's going to be really difficult to get in there. So make sure that you feel completely confident that you're done with this part of your project. And so now what we're going to do is get our thin piece of cardboard, making sure it's nice and pliable. We will need a ruler for this part. Okay. And so we're going to place our ruler on top of our piece of cardboard. What we'll be doing is creating guidelines going up four inches, across now, four and a half inches, back up another four inches, making it identical to the opposite side, and then closing out our box with another four and a half inch line. Now on either side of this four inch by four and a half inch square, I will be marking one inch guidelines on either side, then using that guideline to draw a straight line across my square box, like so, doing that on both sides. Once your guidelines are created, you can start cutting this out. But of course, in order for our uh, shadow box image to show through, we need to cut a window into the middle of our shadow box. And so with our ruler, we're going to create additional guidelines in the center 
doesn't have to be any specific uh, measurement, just making sure it's a little bit smaller than the square itself in the middle. And so I'm going through, just creating my general guidelines. And then what I like to do is make a big X across that box so I can remember this is the area that I'm going to be cutting out. Now what you're going to do is pick up your cardboard and I like to bend it between two of my fingers and use my scissors to cut through. It's gonna be the very back of your scissors, not the tip. And so creating just a slight bend creating a small hole right there that we can then use to slip our blade of scissors inside of and start cutting out the interior box from our neutral frame without actually having to bend this cardboard out of shape. And so you can continue going through and making more precise cuts to remove all of this excess cardboard. That will be your window. And as you can see, we're starting to see the beginnings of a metro box. What I will then do is use my ruler as a hard surface. And I will lay it across this guideline to then bend the cardboard back towards me. Doing the same on the opposite side on this guideline. Bending the box back towards me. Creating a window with two small uh, doors on these hinges. And so what we're going to do now is actually add some guidelines so that we can start adding in some of our uh, decorative elements. And so I'm gonna use my ruler again to create some lines around my hinged panels, similar to say a windows shutters. Nitros are all about having decorative patterns and so we're gonna do that with our ruler just to make sure it's looking even and concise. If you'd like more organic shapes or to do something freehand, you can feel free to do that as well. It'll look more like a little window with shutters on each side. I can now pick up my decorative paper to start adding in those elements to my neutral frame or I can use my aluminum foil to really make it have that uh, Mexican tin work style element to it. And so that's what I'm going to do now. I'll show you how to do that. There we go. So I'm gonna get my aluminum foil, take out a small piece. I can use my Nitro itself, the frame, to create some guidelines telling me exactly how much I need to cut. So I would use my foil and I could place it on top of my Nitro and adhere it to give it a uh, metallic look. I'm gonna use some glue for this part. You can feel free to use tape as well. I'm just gonna try using my glue. Placing it on top of that guideline. Giving it that metallic element. I'll do the same on the other side now as well. Now I can use this decorative paper to add additional aspects to it. And so you can do that to um, your heart's desire, however you would like to decorate your box. Uh, with any craft materials that you might find around the house.
From this part, I'll just start filling in the rest of this box with any sort of colors. Nitros are well known for having bold contrasting colors, and so make sure that we're looking for the most contrast that we can build. It doesn't have to be matchy-matchy. We're really looking for that bold look. And that's how you know a Nitro when you see one. And so once you've decorated this to your heart's desire, we're actually going to adhere our shadow box behind it to make it visible through the front of our neutral frame. And so all we're going to do, you can use glue. I'm gonna use tape for this part. I'm gonna get my adhesive tape with the sticky side up. Place it behind here. Adhering it to the toilet paper roll itself getting another piece of adhesive tape with the adhesive side up, placing it behind our toilet paper roll, like so. And so this is the non-adhesive side showing on the back. The adhesive side will be on the front. And then all I'm going to do is place our neutral frame on top of my shadow box and Press down firmly to make sure that it is adhered properly. Now I can go back to where I had made those folds on my panels to make sure that they're bending properly. But it should be able to stand up on its own. At this point, you can continue adding on decorations if you'd like, building upon this main shape. I've seen other people include circular shapes on top, adding other cardboard elements to their neutral, but this is your basic neutral frame. And so that is your neutral craft. It's a great activity for all ages. Uh, making an intentional space for remembrance and honoring of a figure. I hope that you had fun crafting with me today and that you will visit mysapple.org to look for future virtual programs. <laughs>